hello. I'm going to do a couple of talking videos. This is my first one. This is going to be a color and chat. Uh, you can color along if you want if you have this. Um, before I go any further, I want to let you guys know that if you're 18 and under, I ask you kindly to please leave. This is an adult coloring and craft channel. Thank you so much. This is an idea I just got from a lady that colors on YouTube who I absolutely adore coloring with Elena. Um, I will leave her link below under the video for us. But what I'm doing is she did a uh, video called This or That where you ask questions. Well, I'm doing one where someone else asks the questions and I answer it. I will do a video where I ask my own questions, I'll answer my own and see if I can get anybody else to follow through with me. So this picture that I'm going to color and I have left, I've got a link down below the video of where to buy the book. I've noticed you can only get the book on Amazon, they no longer sell the PDF at all on their website. And I left a link also too for um, their web or their Facebook group. I know they're on Instagram, but I'm not really one that does Instagram. So, but it's going to be from Jade Summers Emoji Book, which I happen to adore emojis. I know a lot of people, they drive people nuts, but I happen to love them. So we're going to color this while I ask the questions that someone else has asked. And I will answer them. And then I will do a different video hopefully later tonight, depending on how tired I am, and also we've got dinner to do too, where I ask my own questions and answer them and try to see if I can get somebody else to, to follow along too. And that will be a whole different picture. So, let's get started as I will get my markers because I'm going to use markers on this. And just a second, guys. Almost pulled a plug out of the wall that would have either affected my light or my PC. I'm not sure which one. But I'm going to use a mixture of markers that will probably be Prismas, Sharpies, and Bix, and some pinning gears. I'm trying to use up the pinning gear markers. I'm not a fan of them at all. Okay, now the first question I'm going to ask is what was your very first, or excuse me, I'm not going to ask, excuse me, someone else has asked me, what was my very first coloring book I ever bought? I'm going to say that was a um, Joanna Basford, I'm going to say, um, hold on, just wait a minute. I thought I had it, I think it's Enchanted Forest, let's see if I can find it here. Enchanted Forest is what it was, and I think the first picture I colored in here, I think, don't quote me on that, this was when the book first came out, and I was still learning, I was a newbie at the time, I'm not very happy with the picture, but the background was with those crazy arts, um, funky multicolored lead pencils, I'm not too big on how this picture turned out, but I was just learning. I've came a long way since then, at least I think, and wait, did I do anything else in this book? I don't think I did. Did I? Oh, yeah, I did. Yes, I did. I remember that. This was when I first got my Dick Flick Studio colored pencils. I love how this turned out. Okay, that was question number one. Question number two is, what was my first coloring supply I ever bought? Well, I didn't buy those. I got those as a Christmas gift from someone in the family, and they happen to be my also. See, is this the question that's on here? Well, if it's not, I'm gonna answer this. My very first, um, not only budget-friendly supply, but my very first colored pencil supplies that someone got me as a Christmas gift happens to be my crazy art colored pencils, which believe it or not, I know, cringe, a lot of people don't like them. I happen to love them. I, I really like the colors, and believe it or not, those really work good with the uh, Amazon Basics. I really like how they work. Um, 
get my <laughs> or my markers here. Um, I'm a big fan of Crazy Art to begin with. Um, there's a couple pencils in there. The Summer Pastel Green, I think it is, and the uh, Honeydew. I love those colors. I'm a green fanatic. I love greens. And those are kind of bright colored greens that really makes the, the greens pop. Um... My very, the next question is, what was my first hardback book I bought? I actually didn't buy it. A friend bought it for me, and she got it from uh, Tel Aviv. It's, I need to look at it. It's back at my desk here, I know. Because I got my hardback in front of my desk here. There it is. It's this book. Oh Lord, I think I did. I put it. It's from Tel Aviv, and it's in Hebrew. And I could have swore. Now in Hebrew, they look at the. I gotta finish that book, that page because I started it. In Hebrew, they read the book. Okay, yeah. They read it from backwards to front. I can't remember who this is by. I will have to look that up and look under it, but that's the very first picture I ever did in this. And believe it or not, that is not blue. That is purple. It's showing up as blue, but that is purple. And this that is showing up purple is actually pink. It just goes wonder. There we go. See, it's more purple. Well, it's still kind of showing up. Now let's get the coloring here. Okay, there. One of these I started already, and I wanted to. Okay. Yes, this one. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna do the emoji faces first. Okay. Now there's a reason why I chose this picture. If you notice, it's got a VHS tape. Yes, I know. Not a lot of people use VHS anymore, but this one holds a special place in my heart. As my hubby and I, we met um, through a job at in my hometown of Lovelock, Kansas, at Blockbuster Video. Him and his sister were my managers. He was subbing for a day, basically taking over somebody else that left, and. Um, so and behold, like about a year later after we met, well, I wouldn't even say that. Um, that has to say six months after, if, or less, after we met, that's when we started dating. We worked at Blockbuster Video, and at the time, that was before DVDs came out, it was all VHS still. So I kind of have a ho uh, soft spot this Mark it down. So I'm gonna. Oh, whoops. Um, go over it again. Um, so at the time, it was all VHSs basically. We were just somewhat getting into DVDs. I know at the time um, when we were working there, say how old this is, the movie Pulp Fiction just came out on. VHS, and I'll never forget, people were pre-ordering that VHS for a hundred dollars, I kid you not, because I remember taking orders on the phone for it, and I remember thinking, in my mind, give it a couple more weeks, you can get the thing for ten bucks, or you can get it at the time, we called it PVT, previously viewed tapes, and you can get it way less. I just had a hard time. I was like, why are you paying this much for a VHS? It's stupid. So, but I thought I'd do this one because it holds a, heart, a special place in my heart. Um, 
let's see here. Get on to the next question, which would be number five. Okay. The, um, I don't know if I told you or not, but this um, question thing is called tag this or that. So, next fifth question is Hannah Carlson or Maria Trollet. Oh my God, don't don't know if I can answer that. Um, that's a hard one, as I love them both, but I have to say Maria Trollet. I know people are probably saying yeah, 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 but I do like Maria Trollet. She's got one book out that I'm trying to get my hands on. Dose the room, rooms, I think it is. But I, I know it's on Amazon, but oh my god, it's like, I'd have to say about 20 bucks maybe to buy it, and then you got to pay for shipping on top of it because I think it's coming from Germany. I just, I can't see paying that much for, I know it's hardback book and I love her, but I just can't see myself paying that much. Okay, number six. What was my first YouTube coloring channel I watched? Oh, that's Petra Hewitt, and I will leave a link underneath the video, in the comment, or in my, underneath this video for it. Petra Hewitt, I was watching her, and, because I was kind of curious of how to color in my Enchanted Forest by uh, Joanna Basford, and uh, I got to watching her. She's who actually clued me into the whole coloring community. Um... Let's see here. What was my first picture I ever colored? I showed you that. That was in uh, my uh, Joanna Basford's Enchanted Forest. Uh, number eight. Do I like to color mandalas? No. I'm not a mandala person. I have to, I'll be honest with you, I have to be in the mood to color them. I just, I've got vertigo as it is, along with chronic migraines. So, myself coloring, I have to turn the page around and around and around, just, I can't do it. And mandalas and me just don't get along to begin with. I know people love them, and that's great. That's just not a thing for me at all. Um... My next number nine, grayscale or line art? Line art. Um, I like to print off most of my pictures myself, and that one I'm not big on grayscale to begin with. I just I like to be able to learn my shading all on my own. That's just me. But when you print off your own pay, paper, print off on your own paper, that just sucks up the ink. And I know I can go to other places to have it printed. It just I would rather do it at home. And I, I just, I'm one that, when it comes to with how much ink it uses up, don't get me wrong, I have pictures that I've pr had taken to other places to have printed off because I don't want to suck up my ink, but I'm just not a grayscale person. That's not my thing. I'd rather have line art myself. I have colored a few line art pictures. Um, I do like Christina uh, McAllister. I love her pictures. I've colored a few of her pictures. Oh, I'm not done with that. Look there with me. And I can tell my marker is smearing that black ink. Um, let's see here. Okay, number 10. A very special coloring gift I was sent and never expected. I'd have to say a wonderful friend from clear across the world sent me the very full set of polychromos, favorite cast of polychromos, and it, I was not expecting that. I was blown away. I, it had me in tears. I couldn't believe she sent me those. Just blew me away out of the water. I tell you, the last two Christmas, matter of fact, that was last Christmas, well, two years ago on Christmas that I got them, and then this Christmas here, my hubby surprised us with new PCs, 
but these last two Christmases, wow. I was not expecting them. I would have been happy with, I told my husband all I really wanted for Christmas was a pencil case, and I got it, actually, but I was not expecting a brand new computer at all. Never in my wildest dreams. And funny thing is, he said he had these sitting in the uh, garage for six months behind other boxes. Now, I don't go snooping only because my husband's got a thing with, he's dyslexic, and he's got a thing called controlled chaos. So I don't go out there and mess with his messes. I'm liable to get buried in them, so I will stay to myself. If there's something hidden out there, and it's going to get me, it's going to get me, because <laughs> I'm not, I keep doing that. I'm not going to go snooping. I don't want to get top of the stuff. I have more questions, not that were asked to me, but when I go to do mine, I have more questions than 10. And there are some doozies, too. But that will be for my next picture. And the, these are the big markers. Art markers, I should say. I've got some art markers that I'm trying to use up first and... I have all kinds of markers that, but before I use any good ones, I'm trying to use up some of the cheaper ones to get them out of the way. I'm smelling our dinner for what we've got part of in the oven. I'm making tonight chicken fajitas, and I can, I've got the chicken baking in the oven, and I can smell the chicken, and it smells really good. Maybe it doesn't even have any seasoning on it, so either that or I'm just hungry, but it smells really good. I would do beef fajitas, but the price of meat has just gotten out of hand. It's ridiculous. And I know I've had, I'm going to have people probably tell me it's cheaper to eat vegetables. Oh, well, I do eat a lot of vegetables, too, but I'm not giving up my meat. I refuse. I'm, I was born a country girl, and I like my meat and taters. Since we're talking, or not talking, but I'm coloring a picture to do for you, Jeffrey. What were some of your favorite movies that you liked to watch while growing up? I remember when I was little, little. I loved Disney's The Fox and the Hound. I even had the little record storybook, you know, I just tell you how old I am. I had the 45 record and the storybook. I had that. And I had some of the Di other Disney ones like Cinderella. Um, then I also had uh, a couple Smurfs ones and Strawberry Shortcake. I remember getting the Strawberry Shortcake ones one year for my birthday, I think. Don't quote me on it. I think it was my ninth birthday because I had a Strawberry Shortcake themed birthday party. I'll never forget that birthday because of the fact that uh, at the time my parents were supposed to be supposedly going to get a they were separated and they were going to get a divorce, but I kind of sort of played the matchmaker, which was kind of bad on my part. I shouldn't have done that, um, just for certain reasons. But I'll never forget that birthday. My mom had the cake made by a friend of hers. It was um, it was not a store-bought cake. It was one that somebody made that she put strawberry shortcake on it, and a lot of her little friends, strawberry shortcake's friends, I remember strawberry shortcake, her cat... I remember Blueberry Muffin, I think that was her name, Blueberry Muffin, and Lemon Meringue, and then I got for that 
birthday too, I got, my mom got me, I had a twin bed, she got me the sheets with the matching pillowcases, a pillow sham, I had a dust ruffle, I had a bed spread, a, rever a reversible bed spread, I had the curtains, um, I, <laughs> trying to think, I had, I got a winter coat too, a strawberry shortcake, because my birthday's in November, they got me a strawberry shortcake, uh, winter coat. I had a mittens and uh, stocking cap to go with it. Somebody got me some socks too that matched it, and also somebody got me uh, a strawberry shortcake toothbrush holder. And there's a big strawberry shaped cup that you can drink out of to rinse off your mouth. But I'll never forget that birthday. Everything was strawberry, including the cake itself was strawberry flavored, and the icing too was strawberry flavored too. I'll never forget that. You would have thought I'd gotten sick of strawberries, but I haven't. I gotta get a drink, guys. What are you thinking, Mark? Oh, thought my husband was over here smirking at me, but I guess he doesn't hear me. Another movie I remember when I was little that I absolutely loved was Grease. The first one with John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John. I loved that movie. The second Grease I wasn't too big on. Just wasn't the same. Um, let's see here. Um... I also love Xanadu because it's got to do with the roller skating. Of course, I never got into roller skating until I was 13 and I got my first pair of skates. I love work. I still miss it. And here I am, 47 years old and want to go back to roller skating, but I don't think my ankles will let me. But I miss it very much. Um... Here. I also I'm trying to also think of some other movies that I remember when I was younger that I liked um, my first rated R movie that I ever saw was Risky Business only because I liked that scene where Tom Cruise comes in with in his little tiny whiteies and the white shirt and the sunglasses and runs and just skids across the floor and starts singing that, that Bob Seger song I liked that and of course, when I saw the rest of the movie, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> of course, that ain't nothing compared to what you see now on TV. But that's a whole other story. Um, I'm looking for a different color. Um, and also, the first horror movie I saw, and I wish I never saw it, I got tricked into seeing it when I was like in kindergarten. My cousin was babysitting me in Arizona. I'm wondering if it was Mesa, Arizona. She was 13. I was like maybe five going in kindergarten because I remember what grade I was in then. Um, she decided she was going to turn on and play Exorcist. Now, as a five-year-old, what do you think that did to me? That movie scared the living hell out of me. And yes, I said it, YouTube, H-E double hockey stick. I said it. Um, but that movie scared me so bad. I was tricked into seeing that. Um, I To this day, and like I said, I'm 47 years old, I will not have nothing to do with that movie or any of those movies at all. My husband, that is his favorite horror movie, he has tricked me several times with using that theme song as his ringtone. I made him change it. And then he tried to trick me one other time by he had a Funko Pop of Reagan from The Exorcist and put it on my desk and I turned around, saw it real fast, and threw it across the room. I do not like those movies. They scared the living crap out of me. And when my mom found out that I was tricked into seeing them, she went all, flipped all over on my uh, cousin. She was like, how could you do that? I was scared to death. 
I will not even watch them to this day. I tell my hubby and son, you watch them, you watch them without me, and you keep the sound down, because it's that theme song that freaks me out. I don't like them. I'd have to say my second horror movie I ever saw was Serpent in the Rainbow. Mark, can you get that for me? Mark, can you get the oven for me? Huh? Can you get the oven for me? Please. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to snap snap at you, I just... I don't know if it, it should be done, and if it is, you can just cool it off. Sorry, guys. I'm getting my hubby's help with getting the chicken out of the, the oven. Oh, there's what I used instead of... Okay. Thank you, Mark. that I loved when I was younger. I'm trying to think here. Oh, Lady and the Tramp. When it first came out, I'll never forget it. I was, matter of fact, I was still in kindergarten because we moved from Arizona to can back to Kansas here. Kansas is obviously my home state. Um, and when Lady and the Tramp came out to the theaters, my stepdad and... Um, took me and my cousin Kevin, who rest in peace, I found out earlier, um, a couple weeks ago, that he passed away earlier last year, which he was a few years younger than me, which just shocked the crap out of me. Um, anyways, he passed away, and but he took us to see that movie. So every time I see that movie, I kind of get, you know, that was some, some of the better times from when I was little. Um, let's see here. Thank you, Mark, very much. Um, what other movies that, that I liked? When, and especially as I was going, oh, um, Ghost. I loved that movie, still do. Pat, especially Patrick Swayze, Let Me Rest in Peace. I still can't believe he's gone. That just is a shocker. Um, I love Patrick Swayze, uh, Swayze, excuse me, and I know that a lot of people love Dirty Dancing, I like the music from it, but that movie was just not my thing, it just wasn't anything that I, I was really into, I will admit, I liked Roadhouse, I loved that movie, Roadhouse was awesome. Especially because it also has Sam Elliott in it. And Sam Elliott is a, a handsome guy. So, hmm, let me really add some movies here. Let's see here. I'm going to do my hearts here in this pink color now. This one I haven't used yet. Ooh, that's strong. Wow. Oh, I also want to give, um, also thoughts and prayers go out to those. If they, anybody watches it from Alabama, Birmingham got slammed with a heck of a, um, tornado the other day they got uh we didn't hear about it on the news my husband saw it on line and was reading about it the knock on wood there's only one there only that they know of one person that was killed but i have a feeling with all the destruction that happened there's going to be a lot more found but we were saw we were looking at some of the pictures there's one that we saw where literally you could see the foundation of where the house was. The tornado picked that house up and slammed it back down right, like maybe five feet from where the foundation was. And when it let the house landed, it just shattered. Um, I think he said that, it, I 
think the limit is like an 80 mile pass or something like that. It's either 80 mile pass or or 80 mile winds. I'm thinking maybe now that I think about 80 mile an hour winds. I think is what she said. But we never heard about it on the local news because local news only wants to talk about one thing and it's just getting monotonous. I know there's got to be more stuff going on in this world than what they want to talk about, but we've been trying to catch the news to find out what's going on just locally for not only weather, but Things going locally on in our town, and not want to talk. They're not wanting to talk about it. And we did hear that we we're supposed to get some ice tonight, which we got a light layer of snow today, and that's about gone. But we're supposed to get ice tonight, and so we went out today and got what we needed, so we can stay in the rest of the time because. I don't plan on going anywhere when it gets like this. And we were hoping too, before COVID ever hit last year, we were hoping to be moved out of this town. <coughs> Moving to this town was kind of a mistake, but at the time, we were trying to find a place that we could afford and that was in a better area, which we've got it, but not big on this town because in order to get in and out of this town, you have to pay a toll, and it's just, it, it's kind of one of those things that we don't like, plus of the fact that we want to get back a little closer to the city that we like, um, not, we don't want to live back in the city, kind of on the outskirts, and we thought we found a place, or I did, last week, but come to find out, when I saw it on Facebook, there's something a little hinky about the guy, kept giving me two different stories about the place, and I don't think he even owned the place, because now I'm seeing him all over Facebook Marketplace trying to rent these places out all over in towns around us that I happen to know of these towns and I'm like, he's using different names. I had to turn them into Facebook and I did call the Better Business Bureau to let them know about this guy because this guy is saying that he's living in Texas and that he can't come and give us the key and we're not to call the number that's on the sign outside of the property as he said that guy is trying to scam him. Now, something doesn't sound right. And when I kind of asked him, I said, well, if, if, that is, we rented, which I wasn't, but I was kind of curious what his answer would be. So if we rented, how would I get the key? Oh, I'll have to mail it to you. Um, nah, that was kind of a clue. Nah. And sad, too, because it would have been a nice house in the area we wanted to, but my gut was telling me something was not right. Another marker that Have you guys gotten any new books or coloring supplies here lately? I got the other night, I got the Colors of the World pencils that to add to my 120 set of 
clear the color pencil. And this next month, I plan on ordering. I'm slowly this year gonna add more to my colored pencil collections. I've got the uh, earlier this month. I got two of the twelve sets from Spectrum Noirs colored pencils and this m next month I'm going to get the 24 set of the primaries to, to uh, add to the collection. This one and I need ah okay, I will do that one. Um, I, I love my colored pencils I have to say um, but my favorite colored pencils of all time are my um, Derwent Color Softs. I just love those. I'm a Derwent girl. I absolutely love those pencils. They do take a lot of learning to get used to, though, but they're just, that is for wax base, that is. That, those are my favorite pencils for wax base. Another one of these new markers. Phew! Can't open up the window there. It's humid in it either because it's cold outside. And now, if it was just me, I would open up the window because the cold doesn't bother me that. You know, as I also say, cold doesn't bother me anyway. Well, cold doesn't bother me at all. It's my hubby and my son that. I myself can live where it's cold all year long if I could. Oh, I'm not happy and some say no. I don't like the heat. I hate summertime. The one time of the year I hate the most, especially August. Oh my god, August is the one month out of the whole year I despise the most. I'm happy when it's when that month is over with and I don't have to worry about it for so long. Okay, there's that. I'm going to start off the side. I think I'm going to green. Give us some green, camera. Why not go Um. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of summer. Despise it. Now, my husband, he doesn't like summer. He just doesn't like the cold. He'd prefer to the heat due to arthritis and stuff. I get really angry, well not angry, but get really grouchy when I get all overheated and hot. Not trying to go quiet on you guys. I'm just trying to concentrate. That's why most of my videos that I'm starting to do now won't have me talking in them because when I talk, I don't really get too much done. I tend to kind of go off the beaten path. Oh, I need to do his hair. Okay. I do want to say that if you like my videos, then make sure to click the subscribe button. And if you want future notifications, make sure to click that bell to be notified and also the links underneath the video for Elena and Petra Hewitt check them out they're pretty nice and 
um, can't say enough about them. I like the all the coloring communities. They are nice. Um, I like to watch the videos while I'm coloring. And even if there is downtime, I normally turn them off just to, to concentrate on what I'm doing too, or what's going on around me. I normally um, have when I, I kid you not, when I color, I'll have a video going on, a YouTube video going on my laptop, or not laptop, but my PC in front of me with the sound off. Guys, I'm going to let you go in the video, and I will talk to you later. My sister just called me, and I'll talk to you guys later.